in this video i am going to show you how to use 3 deepseek v3 or deepseek r1 inside bolt.diy and bolt.diy is a hosted version of bolt.new where you can use your own api keys and on setup to generate the ai apps meaning you can generate app using ai similar as bolt.new bolt.new is a hosted version by stackdis meaning you don't have to do anything you just pay for it you sign in and you can interact with and generate apps but but bolt.diy is a version a fork of bolt.new where you can use it inside your local machine with local setup so let's see go to bolt.diy repo by stack please and you need to just follow the steps to install on your device you can see quick download you can download zip and start running it running the application it has npm install project dependencies then npm dev so you can see i'm using docker to run this so i already installed it in my local device and yes it's running you can see so i have just picked lm studio there so that's why it's showing error because i haven't set up any api keys api keys there so let me change this to different and i need to set up api keys here but i'm going to use free deep seek v3 or r1 models inside this so how to do it so first go to Navius AI Studio, you can see it has Deep V3 and Deep R1 model. Navius is a model inference provider, you can say, like you can use multiple LLM models, as you can see, Quen 2.5 Coder, Phi 3, Mini, and all Meta Lama models are also available, but we are going to use Deep V3 for this bold.new, you can use Deep R1 as well. So, and you can also play around this to compare the model, like V3, and you can compare R1 and V3. So I'm not going to show you that step, but you can try and uh, in Navius Studio, you can also improve, like if you need a better rate limiting, you can request for the access, how much limit you want, increasing the rate limits and based on your requirement. So you need to do only one thing, go in the API key section, get your Navius keys, okay? And now you need to go to open router because we are going to use open router set up in bold.diy to get the access of DeepSea. So, okay, I'm going to search DeepSeek. I'm going to use DeepSeek V3 because R1 takes time, stop thinking and everything. So, now I'm going to Navius. It's one of the cheapest provider, as you can see. It is one of the cheapest provider for getting the free Navius model access. You can go to the nebio.navius.ai, go to the billing tab and use text to image as code and you will get $25 worth of credit to be used. And I'm saying this because I just found this on their Twitter. So you can see, so you can see how much efficient costing they have. And I also saw like they have this voucher text to image. You can use for $25 worth of credit. When you sign up for the Navy CI Studio, you will get $1 worth of credit. And after that, when you apply that code, you will get $25 more. So now go to Open Daughter. You can see Navius. So go to this icon and click here. So you have to go to the Navius and as you can see others are not configured. I just configured Navius. So you have to click here and paste the Navius API key that you copied from Navius AI Studio here and say, then go to your local bold.diy project opened in VS code. So here you can go to app, go to lib, then go to modules, then go to LM and providers and open this open router.ts that I already opened. So you can see you can use some open router models here. You can also use DeepC Coder, DeepC Gemini Class, and other things. But I want to use Navius AI Studio models because I'm getting free credit and it will be easier for me to use some free credits and try out how the response are. So I just what I did is I just changed one thing: name and level for the other models. So go to open router, click here. And now I'm going to use DeepSeek V3, not R1, because of speed and the thinking capability takes much time for R1. So I'm going to this copy this model ID for DeepSeek V3. I'm going to VS Code, and I just replace this with that. I already did it, so that's why it's the same thing. And for label, I am just changing this name to Navius DeepSeek. Okay, and this name will show up in the bold.new. So let's see where we go. Yes, this is bold.new. So bold.diy. So I'm going to pick provider as open daughter. 
then I'm going to choose Navius. Okay, you can see like deep sea uh, model that I added from Navius is here. Now you have to add API keys from open router. So you need to go to open router setting. Okay, click here, go to keys and create a new key. And this key will be used in that port.diy setup. So I already created it. So, and I also saved it. So I already provided the key and it's done. Now I can use this to build an app. So let me see this. Let's check build a simple blog using Astro. What it does, DeepSeq 3 can do the work or not. We can check. And another one thing is in open order, you can see the performance like activity of yourself. So you can see the cost DeepSeq chat I'm using currently and it's from earlier, it's from today. So you can see R1 I used, DeepSeq chat we used. You can timing, cost, speed, providers, and everything you can see. I'm using Navius uh, models because it's a cheaper one out there in the market. And I already told you, you can use a browser to get $25 worth of credit and go give it a try. Okay, so bold.diy is generating a project for me. Let's see if it can generate a working functional project in just one prompt. Okay, it generated the app and it's running. So it's created a simple blog with DeepSeq P3. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. What's this? Okay, setting. This one, this one. No, I detected the one. So it's generated the app, simple app, as like from a Astro template, I guess. So I can iterate it more to make it impressive. But still, I think DeepSeq P3 can be helpful. But the Sonnet 3.5 by Cloud is still better in generating app from scratch. As like I saw, I tested in Cursor, Windsurf. And here as well and i also used lovable so sonnet 3.5 is better in generating app but deep cp3 you can use it to give it a try based on your experience or i think it can be helpful in code fixing part like if you have a code in cursor own project and you can ask questions with the code so i think okay let me give one more prompt to this if it can fix One thing you have to note is when you are using API keys from open router, it might be case sometimes you feel that it's giving very slow response. Not sure if it's causing by open router or what, but you need to take care of that. So for running DeepSeq B3 or R1 inside bolt.diy project of yours, you just need open router account, maybe say a studio models, and you are good to go. You just need to change the open router.ps file inside models and provider on the bold.diy code base. So it's generating few, like iterating the UI part. Let's see if it able to get something better from last time. Okay, it's added one more file. So let's see. Okay, it's nothing useful. It's just the same thing with few extra addition. So I, I'm not impressed by the results, but yeah, you can give a good prompt because I haven't given a good prompt, just a one liner. So yes, you can give the prompt and try it out. So this is the video. Thank you for watching this and you know how to get free access to DeepSeq V3 and R1 from Navius and you can use via open order and I will provide the discount code in the description you can use or I will add that Twitter post somewhere if I find that. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.